All right, absorbance and concentration in spectrophotometry. So again, this is an application of Beer's law where the absorbance is equal to the absorptivity constant, which is determined for the analyte, times the length path of the light, times the concentration. And um, this is what we're interested in is either the concentration or the absorbance, and both of those are related. So let's say that you transmitted uh, some light and here's not very straight, but light is hidden, and this is your sample cuvette, and your sample cuvette has a certain concentration of analyte. Well, the sample is going to absorb some of that light, and then some of the light is going to be transmitted on the other side, but not as much. And so, and then here you would have uh, a detector that's going to de detect how much light here hits it and how much got absorbed by the sample that's here in this cuvette. And so if you had a sample that was a little bit more concentration, we get some light going through it, and more light would be absorbed because there's, it is more concentrated, so less of the light can be transmitted through, and so it would be, let's make a little dash line, much less light coming through and hitting the detector here that is going to detect the amount of light. And so therefore, you can see that if the, the path here, the length of the path for the light is the same on both the cuvettes, is the same cuvette path, all that, all that's the same size. The only variance is the concentration. As the concentration changes, the absorbance will change also. The absorbance will be greater uh, the greater the concentration and therefore there will be less light transmitted and detected by the detector.